you count how many tufts of grass there are? Let me count. Okay. Five, six, seven. In November of 2005, Julie Schultes lost her husband to glioblastoma multiforma, the most aggressive form of brain cancer. Julie? Hi, I'm Nancy. We're ready for you. Okay, thank you. Three months later, she too was diagnosed with cancer, carcinoma of an unknown primary site. Today, Julie will receive another round of treatment. She's feeling strong. My mother had breast cancer 20 years ago. It was a group of three women. All three underwent a new way of cancer treatment. Two of the women passed away, so my mom is a breast cancer survivor. And one of the women said at the very end to my mom, you know, tell Peter to keep doing what he's doing. One day that will actually help. You know, one day some other woman will actually live. Once you start having that as a starting point, then, yeah, you don't, you don't stop doing it when you go home. You keep grinding, you keep grinding on it. Peter Kuhn is among the leading researchers in the fight against cancer. He's a professor of cell biology at the Scripps Research Institute, the largest private non-profit biomedical research facility in the world. How many, how many crystallization experiments have you run on the other constructs? Um, Peter and his team of over 20 researchers represent a critical front line in the war on cancer. Our goal is quite simple. Our goal is to make cancer manage disease. We brought together biophysicists, cell biologists, oncologists, pathologists. You have seven or eight disciplines. Everybody looks at the data differently. How do you then do experiments, share the data, start collaborating? We just spend way too much time trying to figure out, you know, where is which data sitting. We shouldn't be slowed down by that. That's ridiculous. Okay, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Peter contacted Microsoft Gold certified partner, Tim Huckabee, to build the solution. Cancer touches everyone. Uh, if this helps, this and it does have the help, um, it's beyond exciting. You know, I don't come home and talk a lot about cool technology solutions to my wife and kids, but I promise you that day I came home, I said, you are not going to believe the piece of software that we are going to build. These are brilliant people. They do a lot of great work in research, but they don't tie it together through automation. If we could facilitate automating the process of research, then we could really help. And that's what started all the ideas about SharePoint and about Office and about building this custom application. With the application, what we expect to have to, to see happening there is that uh, the pathologist at her desk can just pull it up, run through the images that we present to her, and she can annotate it, and we can see it at the same time. That means a turnaround will be within a couple of hours. So it's a completely different ballgame. The key to this thing is to do a 3D rendering that they can annotate. Oh, they would want to be able to, to go into this and then highlight that section and, and add an annotation, a note that says, you know, appears to be cancer. Tim and his team developed a solution called the Collaborative Molecular Environment, a smart client interface for Windows SharePoint users. It's a secure online collaboration suite built with Windows Presentation Foundation and the 2007 Microsoft Office system. There's a lot of 3D viewers in the world, but what's cool about this is you can right-click right on the 3D surface and annotate in a Office document like Word or Excel or PowerPoint for that matter and attach those annotations directly to that spot on the th rendering of cancer. That's what Peter Kuhn didn't have. Now they have that and they get the extra benefits of SharePoint so they can collaborate on it. What was amazing to us um, was the fact that we actually had a first prototype in hand in about three weeks, two or three weeks after the coding had started. This custom WinFX application leverages the Office Open XML format so we can see some of these documents. Through this application, we can deliver the system in a self-contained manner, meaning all the annotations on some particular cancer pattern can be contained within an Excel spreadsheet. That's pretty darn cool. You actually started seeing already that you get to a different level of productivity. Stuff just goes faster. It going fast, that that is where we want to get to. Now, what does this mean for the patient? It means for the patient that maybe we are able to say, this is the right treatment for that patient. Maybe we're able to say that patient is responding to a certain chemotherapy. And maybe we can say within three or four weeks that the patient is not responding. We 
must switch treatment. We're just now turning the corner in cancer therapy. Last year was the first year that total cancer deaths started to trend downward. I'm optimistic that if we have more clinicians, more scientists working together, we'll be able to solve some of these problems by learning from each other. We couldn't have dreamed just a couple years ago that we could have built so much in so little time. Consequently, the application is amazing and it's going to rock the cancer and SARS worlds. With the 2007 Microsoft Office system, you can create leading-edge solutions that make a difference.